Hello Salimik, in today's video, we're gonna be transforming this oxidized headlight to this brand new looking one. So with the most headlight restorations, you can use some fine sandpaper and then use polishing compound to bring the shine back if the headlight was looking like this. But with this one, the clear coat completely oxidized and this method won't work. So my idea is to use some coarse sandpaper like 400 and sand the clear coat to the bare plastic and then apply the clear coat again. So we're gonna need masking tape, these grids of sandpaper, rubbing compound, polishing compound and liquid wax or a paste wax to protect it from UV light. And then we're gonna apply clear coat. You can get 2K clear coat with a spray can as well but make sure it's 2K clear coat because it's dry fast and it's UV resistance. Alright let's give it a quick cleaning and mask the edges so we don't damage any paint job. I'm gonna start with 400 grit sandpaper and I will be using sanding pad as well so I get even sanding surface. Alright after sanding for a while this is bare plastic and hair is clear coat still left. It should be all like this so let's go ahead and sand the surface even more. Pay good attention to the corners because if the new clear coat peels off it will be from the edges not in the middle of the headlight. Alright the headlight clear coat free, now we're gonna wet sand it with 600 grit sandpaper up to 1000 grit sandpaper. I also did the same steps of the camera for the other side as well, so let's go ahead and wash it with a dish soap to remove any contaminant for applying new clear coat. Next after drying the headlight, we're gonna mask it again for applying clear coat. The clear coat I'm using is 2 to 1 ratio. But if you are using spray can, it's much easier and much faster. Alright, before applying clear coat, make sure to wipe the headlights with rubbing alcohol to prevent from creating fish eye if there was any oil spot. We can apply 3 light coats for each headlight. Don't apply a thick coat at once, otherwise it will run. Alright, it's been after 15 minutes from applying third coat, now we're gonna remove the masking tape and the papers. But the headlights came out so good comparing to how it was before. You can leave it like that if you want, but I'm gonna wet sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper to remove any orange peel and then I'm gonna apply protection to protect it from UV light. I'll be using a thousand grit and two thousand grit sandpaper and then use rubbing compound and a polishing compound. You can do it by hand or a machine, I'm gonna be using machine, it's much faster. And I'm gonna be using protection like a liquid wax or a paste wax to prevent it from oxidizing again. After wet sanding with a thousand and two thousand grit sandpaper, you should have an even haze just like this one. I'm gonna apply five dots of rubbing compound on the pad so we can bring back the shine. I will be starting with low speed and then high speed with 50% overlap. Next I'm gonna apply a polishing compound, it will find the surface even more. This is the last step, we're gonna apply wax to protect it from getting oxidized again. So let's go ahead and apply a thick coat of wax and let it dry. Okay it's been after 5 minutes and the wax completely dry. Let's go ahead wipe the residue with a microfiber towel and reveal crystal clear headlights. The difference like a day and night, here is how it was before and how it is now, with using some sandpaper, clear coat and polishing compound. So that's it for this video, hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.